To breathe life to the components, we need to bind data and events to them. Let's start with the nav component. Click the component and click configure. Click the root of the component and click add prop beside the component properties. The nav bar needs a username to display and auth text to show whether we need to sign out or sign in. An avatar for the user and the handle auth event handler which is going to be of type event handler. These props are top level props and we need to drill them into individual elements for rendering. For example, we need to hide the user component if the user is not logged in. That said, we need to set a display child prop. Click add prop beside the child prop and select display from the prop list. We want it to be a conditional, so click on the drop down menu and select add conditional. We want to check if the username equals none. If so, we would set the display to none. If not, we would leave it to its default, which is flex. For the avatar text, we need to set the label to whatever text we passed down using the avatar prop we set on the parent. Same thing goes for the username, which we will set to the username that was passed down from the nav component. For the button, we need to set the label to auth text and also the onclick event to the handle auth we passed down from the nav component. The hero component should only expect one prop, which is the event handler that it will call when we click the button. Select the button and set onclick to the handle click event we passed down. Persuade component is like the hero component since it takes a handle click event for the button, but you can also pass a URL for the banner image. Select the image and set the source to the banner prop we passed and also set the onclick handler to the handle click event handler. Now let's look at something more interesting. We can bind data directly from our database so we don't have to rely on only static data. Click the testimony component and add a component prop called testimonial model. This prop will be of model type testimonial. Now once you've done this, all the child elements will have access to all the rows in testimonial table. For example, we can set the source of the avatar to testimonymodel.avatar, the author to testimonymodel.author, and lastly, the testimony to testimonymodel.testimony. We need a list of testimonies, so click the Create Collection button and name the collection testimonies. It should be a grid, and the grid should have three columns. Head back to the list of components and you should see that we have one more component that does not exist in Figma. We need to do the same thing for the story component. Add a post model to the component props and the type should be post model. Set the article banner source to any static image. This would usually come from the database like we did with the testimonies. Set the label of the title to postmodel.title. Set the description to postmodel.description and finally set the read time to postmodel.readTime. We can concatenate a string at the end of the read time so it makes more sense to the customer. We can now create a collection for the story and call it stories. It should be a three column grid and we can add 10 pixels space around each one. Head back to the list of components to preview the stories component.